So this is our entry level uh, four door sedan. Um, it's called an ILX. I believe this is what the uh, Integra is going to be replacing. Uh, but for now, uh, we uh, do very well with this car. It's uh, uh, kind of like a, a gateway into the Acura line and into the bigger sister, which would be the, the TLX. Uh, this car only comes front wheel drive. It's got uh, uh, the uh, VTEC uh, 2.4 liter uh, Honda engine uh, that really puts out a lot of power for a small, small car like this. It's similar to the Honda Civic Si, which is, uh, I mean, it's not the Type R, but it's more their sportier version. Uh, mm -hmm. It's putting out 201 horsepower, and for a small car like this, it's pretty peppy. But perfect for, you know, a, a high school student or, you know, someone going to college or just graduating college. Um, perfect car for them. Mm -hmm. Similar size to what a Civic would be. Okay. You can see it's sporty looking. You know, all of our Acuras have that sporty lines, the interior. Uh, you're going to have nice uh, uh, leather. We do, we do not make cloth in any car. Uh, we do have the Lux suede inserts in the A-Spec versions, but we do not have cloth in any uh, Acura since 2006. Uh, you can see the moon roof. Uh, we don't make a car without a moon roof. You will never see a car, an Acura without a moon roof unless you go back to 2006. Mm -hmm. um, this is the last car that you can see uh, that has a gear shift. The SUVs that we just looked at, you saw that there was no gear shift. Yep, they all had the buttons. Yeah, they all have the push buttons, yeah. So that cleans up the center of the car. You can see this is the last one with an emergency brake, an actual emergency brake that you could use. That's gone too. All of the cars now have an electric brake. So they're not called emergency brakes. You wouldn't be able to use that in an emergency to stop the car. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you wouldn't need to because it's not a manual transmission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But very similar. This is the uh, you know more outdated version uh, of the Acura. All the, the two other cars that we just like, looked at have the touchpad with the with the screen. Uh, this is more with the so that middle screen the the down the the second screen below is a touchscreen. The upper okay. screen is not a touchscreen. You would have to use this interface dial, the big dial there to change what you see on that screen. But below it, you have all your audio controls and you have all your, uh, some of your climate controls that are uh, a touch, touch screen. Below at the bottom there, you have your other climate controls that are more manual. So this is probably the last car that we'll have to have this older system that we've had for years with Acura. Mm 